On the night of December 29th, about 150 soldiers from the 53rd Quartermaster Company gathered at the Kishnik Physical Fitness Center to say goodbye to their families before departing on a 12-month tour to Afghanistan. The company, which is comprised primarily of fuelers, will be conducting mostly convoy security missions rather than supplying fuel. The company's commander said the unit had to undergo extensive training in order to take on their new mission. And they go through being fuelers, just running fuel to the transport and running convoy security, something we didn't have too much experience on. Being separated is nothing new to Sergeant Jerry Shaw and his wife Carol. We've been spending a six months together, but we care for because we have we have the internet. We're going to do webcam, and he calls as much as possible. And we email him and write, and we send him care packages. So that's the best thing. And then he'll be home in like five to six months on R and R. So we just count down the days until then. But as the soldiers are waiting to say goodbye and load the buses, one small announcement will get the whole gym cheering. <laughs> The plane that was supposed to take the 53rd Quartermaster Company to Afghanistan tonight has been delayed for 12 hours. The soldiers were sent home to spend one last night with their families and return to the gym in the morning, only to find out exactly what hurry up and wait really means. After more than four long hours of waiting, and waiting, and waiting, these soldiers finally got what they were waiting for. These soldiers finally said their goodbyes 18 hours after they had originally expected to. After that, they loaded the buses, which whisked them away on their mission. They proved sustainment today, along with certain love